The risk of climate change is universal, but the poor are more vulnerable with worsening food security and exacerbating hunger in developing countries. They are more vulnerable because of their high dependence on natural resources and the limited capacity to cope with climate variability and climate extremes. Climate change is also likely to affect species distribution and increase the threat of extinction and loss of biodiversity. Climate has changed more rapidly during the 20th century than at any time since the peak of the last ice ages and is projected to change even more rapidly in the next 50 to 100 years. If global average temperature increases by 1.5 to 2.5 degrees Celsius, approximately 20 to 30 percent of plant and animal species are expected to be at the risk of extinction. Changes in climate may affect the quality, quantity and distribution of rainfall, snowmelt, river flow and groundwater. Climate change leads to higher intensity precipitation, leading to greater peak runoffs and less groundwater recharge. Longer dry periods will reduce river flow and affect the availability of water for agriculture and drinking. This will ultimately result in the loss of biodiversity through the reduction of crops and livestock genetic diversity. The decreased availability of wild biological resources thus threatens the food and livelihood security of the poor. Forests, wetlands, coastal ecosystems and a host of others provide essential services that contribute in numerous ways to the productive activities of rural and urban poor. These services include water recharge, cycling of nutrients, replenishment of soil fertility and the prevention of erosion. More than 3 billion people depend on marine and coastal biodiversity for their livelihoods including many people in developing countries for whom fishing is the main subsistence and commercial activity. Almost 25% of the world's marine species are found in coral reefs which provide livelihoods for over 100 million people worldwide. Diverse and healthy aquatic environments are more productive than overexploited or degraded ecosystems and therefore supply more fish, mangrove, wood and other resources for their users. Forests are a stabilizing force for climate. They play an integral part in the carbon cycle and supply goods and services that drive sustainable growth. Forests help carbon sequestration, erosion control, watershed protection and nutrient cycling and provide habitat for approximately 80% of the remaining terrestrial biodiversity. India has over 67.8 million tribal people belonging to 705 officially recognized ethnic groups as per the classification made by anthropologists on linguistic basis. A large number of them inhabit forested tracts. Climate change stands to impact the ecosystems that constitute traditional tribal foods that are vital to the culture, economy and the traditional way of life. Ecosystem also offers services like watershed production, pest control and pollination, sustaining productivity in agricultural ecosystems, etc. For example, agricultural role of pollinators, of which more than 10,000 species are known, is worth more than INR 50 billion each year. Genetic diversity allows for adaptation to climate change, pests and diseases and is therefore important to global food security.